I caught up to him and he started becoming defensive, so I knocked him out. What? Is he dead? I don't know. Hey guys, this is the Gaming Mermaid and welcome to my channel. So today we are back on episode I Married a Prince. Now we are at the final last straw of this story. Um, We went on a date with the prince. The prince is really liking us. Chad is trying to get with us. And now the prince's mom wants to sabotage our marriage. So there might be a lot of drama happening in this episode. We're going to see what happens. On with the story, I'm starting to get a crush on the prince, but you know, I got another guy on the side, and then the mom, our top story tonight. Let's find out what's going on. Did Ariel Fawn dump her current boyfriend to be engaged with Genova's beloved crown prince? Oh yeah, that's right. And then this guy comes out of nowhere and starts lying to get attention. Like, what are you even, who even are you? A man by the name of Hermes Jones claims to have been heartlessly cast aside by Ariel immediately after the betrothal was announced. Who even are you? Who even are you? We bring you live with the scene where Hermes confronts Ariel. What? We were so in love. You were my princess and I was your prince. I'm gonna give him like the most ridiculous accent. We were a match made in fairy tale heaven. For the last time, I do not know who you are. <laughs> okay, please stop this nonsense. Oh, Ariel, uh, you must have been too lost in my eyes. What? <laughs> we always talked about forever. What? <laughs> how, how could you dump me for a prince prince? I might not be as rich as him, but I would have given you everything. Who even are you? <laughs> there you have it. Despite her claims that she does not know him, she could she simply be lying to cover up her tracks? Did you ever think maybe he is the one that's lying for attention? Um, seriously? Oh my gosh. Already caught up in a scandal before she is officially part of the royal family. How would the Queen Victoria accept this? Is Ariel Fawn just a materialistic girl pinning after the royal title? Who even, what? Was their lovely date just a lie? Oh my gosh, more importantly, what would Prince Prince think of her now? Did you, he, he, they didn't even talk to me. What is everyone thinking? Exactly, this guy is obviously lying for attention. How does news like this even make it to the headlines? They didn't even get my side of the story. Isn't it obvious that he's lying? Exactly. I clearly do not know him. Oh my gosh, besides I have better taste in my men. <laughs> if you ever have any man, mom, <laughs> the shade, <laughs> mom, it's probably just a prank. Do you think so though? You're famous now. He's just making use of you for the attention exactly. But like he's giving me a bad name. I don't appreciate that. Why me though? The doorbell rings. Oh my goodness, I'll get it. <laughs> okay, mom, thanks. <laughs> what? Although I'll have to admit that I'm curious as to what Prince would think of this too. He would trust me, wouldn't he? He hasn't contacted me since the scandal broke out. Should I take the initiative? Yeah. Yeah, we need to know what's going on. Hey Prince, we should really talk about what happened at school today. Uh-oh. Um, Ariel? Uh, wh why is Prince not answering me? Oh, he's sad. Oh my goodness. Mind telling me what's going on, Ariel? Oh my gosh, Perez, he's sad. I, I didn't take it. I, I, I didn't think anybody would take this seriously. It's all over the news. How else would you expect me to react to it? I, I've been held up in meetings all day to come up with solutions to resolve this. The royal office needs to make an official announcement regarding this, so I'm here to get the truth from you first. I didn't think this would be such a huge deal. I, I promise, I I've never seen that man before. Oh my gosh, are you sure? What do you mean, are you sure? Do you not trust me? You don't trust me. I've only known you for a while. There's so much I don't know about you. And you seemed hesitant the other day when I asked about your love life. What's that supposed to mean? Ariel, you're one of the few people I feel I could really be myself with. Really? And this comes after knowing you for such a short while. But there's so much at stake here. I need to account to a lot of people. I trust you, I really do, I just... No, you don't. I... 
Get out! Get out! Ariel, I thought we were better friends than this. When you told me about how you needed to marry me to retain your title, I agreed to it. I did it despite not knowing how you truly were and that my life would change completely. I did it because I trusted you. But now I see that it only goes one way. Probably should have done a background check on me or something before you proposed the idea, huh? I don't need to explain myself. Leave. Oh my gosh. He's so sad. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Curse you, your stupid mouth, and your over-analytical brain. Oh, I want to believe you, Ariel, so badly, but I can't bring myself to. I don't know you. Well, you had no problem, like, going out on a date with, with me and uh, flirting and stuff, but you don't even know me. What if you're, like, them? Like who? Are we going to a flashback? <gasps> you're a prince, right? My name is Alex. Is that Chad? No, it's Alex, <laughs> clearly. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Why did I even ask that? Is that Chad? Hey, babes. Oh, all the gold diggers. That's right. That's right, what? I'm friends with Prince Prince. Oh, I could probably sneak you into the palace someday. Oh, so he got used. Oh, oh my God, that skunk. Oh, it's Chad. <gasps> Chad is his friend! Oh my gosh, he's a real one! He barely talked to you the other day and now he claims to be your friend? Oh, he feels so used! Aww. I'll march right over and teach him a lesson. Drop it. This wouldn't be the first time. Oh, I feel so bad! Your Highness, you're just as outstanding as King William. I look forward to be well acquainted with you. After all, I hope our countries would work together a lot once you've ascended th the throne. <laughs> oh my gosh. Knock, knock. Oh, so he's been used. Come in. Oh, it's Chad. To what do I owe the honor of a visit by the great Chad? Okay, but like, he's the only real friend that Prince has had, but at the same time, he's been flirting with me, knowing that I'm supposed to marry him. So I feel like maybe he's pretending to be Prince's friend too? Because why else would he be flirting with me when he knows that I'm supposed to be with him? He's trying to ruin his whole life, <laughs> basically. Does he want to be the prince? He wants to be the next one in charge. So I feel like maybe he is trying to sabotage the marriage so that he could be the king. I mean, it makes sense that he might be pretending to be his friend too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Am I thinking too much? If you're looking for your dad, Louis left quite a while ago. <gasps> okay, so Louis is the prince's uncle. So that means that he is his cousin. So yeah, maybe he's trying to sabotage the marriage so that he could be next in line. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm here to talk about Ariel. Oh, well, he just <laughs> went up straight up like that. Ariel, <laughs> you know her? Uh, we met quite a couple times. <laughs> but I'm here to say I believe she's innocent. What makes you so sure? Just trust me on this. I'm a good judge of character and she isn't like that. I know it's not easy for you to trust someone. Heck, I even grew up with you. I know you have trust issues <laughs> and they're justifiable, but Ariel is a nice girl. You really think so? Oh, he's so sad. How would you explain Hermes then? You're not going to believe this, but another flashback. Right before Chad entered Prince's room. Oh, 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 I always get lost around palace hallways. That was a job well done, Ariel. That man was very convincing. <gasps> so that was the queen's doing. I love how he appeared in the school to create such a scene. Oh my goodness. Prince came home looking defeated today. Why would you do that to your own son? She purposely made her own son miserable and so depressed. What kind of evil queen? would do that to their own son, to their own child. I'm certain that they're over. Oh my goodness. Wow. Probably would have saved me a whole load of convincing if I had told you about that conversation I overheard first, huh? I knew she was unhappy, but I didn't expect her to do something like that. 
My goodness! We all know how your mother is truly like, oh my gosh. She always thinks she has your good intentions at heart. Unfortunately, we cannot expose her. She's the queen of Genova for crying out loud. What would the people think? But I have a plan. Oh my goodness. Who is this? David? Did you say Queen Valentina is behind the latest scandal? Who are you? It's almost as if they're out to destroy themselves. We don't even have to do anything. The throne will be mine? Who are you, David? Okay, well, this was not what I thought. Look at this guy over here. We can leave this place and live like millionaires once that woman pays up. Oh my god, they're all gold diggers! <laughs> Wow! Pretending to be the boyfriend of the fond descendant sure is easy money to earn. What? Not to mention the fame that comes with it. Oh my god, you're disgusting. Now here I come. I missed my real girlfriend. You mean that fake girl that just wants your money? Wow! Oh my gosh, going undercover is a much better plan than exposing her majesty directly. How did you even get his address? I think Chad's a stalker. What do you say we get some incriminating evidence against phony Hermes? Oh my gosh, I wish I could get video evidence. I can't. I'm not poor. I'm too poor. We might alert him if we do anything. Let's just observe him for now. Okay. I mean, we'll be witnesses. Oh! <gasps> Where did I come from? What are you guys doing here? Don't tell me I live here. How did you even get here? I thought I was the only one who managed to track him. Oh, so I was doing my own undercover evidence work. What? Who is there? Oh, no. <laughs> we got caught. <gasps> Run! Oh, my gosh. So they didn't get caught? Or, oh, my gosh, we're running. <gasps> Hermes caught us. They saw us. <gasps> oh, my gosh. He's running after us. Oh, my goodness. Are we on a high-speed high chase? <gasps> Quick! Behind that building! Oh my goodness, look at us all in black. We look so fancy. Where's Herbie's? Oh, there he is. Oh man, you are gonna get caught, my boy. You are gonna get exposed. Oh my gosh, I lost them. They must have gone the other way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did he, oh, he lost us. Oh yeah. Aha, uh -huh. we lost him. It looks like he's going the other way. The coast is clear. Yeah, what? Um, where's Prince? Oh, <gasps> Prince, where are you? How did you lose us? Oh no, he must have ran in the other direction. <gasps> we need to find him. What if Hermes gets to him first? <gasps> Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is quite an interesting episode so far. Hours later, <gasps> did we not find him? Oh my gosh. Gosh, where could he have gone? <gasps> We've searched the entire perimeter for hours. There's no way we could have missed him. Why couldn't we just like call him or text him or something? Do you think Hermes got to him before we did? I don't know. What were those two even doing there? Now is probably not the best time, but hi. <laughs> what do you mean hi? <laughs> My name is Chad Hayes. Really? Son of Louis Hayes, advisor to the King of Genova. Oh, we wanted to prove your innocence. What were you doing there? No offense, but you were the one who foiled our plans. I managed to track him down and I thought I could confront him. I didn't know. Oh. Okay, now they actually use common sense. Joseph, we lost Prince Prince, but we didn't even call him or anything. Gather the guards and head down to the trailer parks on the east side of Genova. Why did you do that from like, minute one <laughs> they could have all like searched for him together oh my gosh of course i know the severity of the situation i've been looking for him for hours myself but i was i didn't have the common sense to do this first <laughs> just cut it out and get all the guards here right now and make sure the king and queen are not alarmed oh my gosh why didn't we do that first thing ariel i should send you home thanks it's getting late it's not safe to be around this area at night. The guards will take over. I'm not leaving until Prince is found. You guys came here to help me. I'm not leaving when he's in danger. I've already seeked reinforcements from the Palace of Security. There's nothing else we can do. Should we return to Hermes' trailer to see if he got Prince? It's too dangerous. 
Let's just wait for Joseph to get. And I ran away. <gasps> and I run. Ariel. Oh my gosh. I'm in the forest. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a bad. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at decision making. Should I go left or right? Uh. Uh. Okay. Follow the moss. There's more life over here. Um. So maybe we should go left. Oh my goodness. Did I go backwards? <laughs> Where am I? There's light coming from the house. But it looks too dilapidated to be inhabitable. Are you crazy? Oh, I actually made a good choice. I was all right with those petty crimes you committed, but kidnapping the crown prince of Genova? Have you lost your mind? We could be jailed for life. I panicked, babe. I caught up to him and he started becoming defensive, so I knocked him out. What? Is he dead? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. What do we do now, babe? I'm scared. This cabin has been abandoned for years. No one will find him. Except for me. Why am I running away? He's in there. Go save him. Oh my goodness. We have to sneak in there. Let's get out of here. Yes, go. Please. Oh my gosh, we have to save the prince. He's been knocked unconscious. We don't know if he's dead or alive. Oh my gosh, I need to save him. Yes, go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, he looks like he's just chilling. He's breathing. Prince, he's breathing. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Uh, you got to do the Heimlich. <laughs> Prince, wake up. Prince, please wake up. Oh my goodness. Ariel cradled Prince's head onto her lap. This is all my fault. I should have kept my mouth shut when I saw you and Chad. I'm sorry I got mad at you for not trusting me. <gasps> How can you be so silly? What kind of prince would go undercover like that? <laughs> the one that cares about you. Don't you have guards to do that for you? But he cares about you. You didn't have to do it for me. But he did anyway. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, how cruel. <laughs> prince chuckled softly as he reached out to caress Ariel's cheek. Oh, Prince. You're all right. To be called stupid by you while I lay here injured. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You're the one who ran right into Hermes' arms. It's not that stupid. What is? If that's not stupid, what is? At least I get to die in your arms. <gasps> no, that's not funny. Prince. Oh my god. Prince. <gasps> Prince. Just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not something to joke about. Oh my god. Ugh, you. Ariel swatted the prince's head as he winced painfully. I need to call Chad. Thank goodness we ch exchanged numbers before we started searching for prints. 10 missed calls. <gasps> That's me. <laughs> Chad, I never checked my phone. Sorry. I found him. We are at an abandoned cabin in the woods. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Ariel Fawn, you scared the living daylights out of me when you ran off like that. Joseph is here. Where's the cabin? I just told you where it is, so figure it out. I don't know. It's in the middle of the woods. I just ran around the woods and stumbled upon it by chance. All right, stay put. We're on our way. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! They're back! I can't believe you dropped your earring in the cabin. Girl, you are such a gold digger. It's unbelievable. What if someone finds it and traces the kidnap to us? Well, it's too late for that, my boy. <laughs> Good thing you're here because now they're back and now uh, we're gonna have reinforcements. What should I do? Um, I can't move. Get out of here, Ariel. I'll be fine. I'm not leaving without you. <gasps> I know you didn't trust me the last time, but I need you to trust me on this. I'm going to get us both out of here safely. I'm not leaving without you. Ariel. Shh. Quiet. Ariel searched her surroundings frantically. There's a vase as well as an ashtray on the coffee table. Which should I pick up? Uh. <laughs> a vase? Uh, she walked towards the door and raised the vase above her head, re ready to smash it on Hermes' head when he enters. Oh my goodness. She closed her eyes as she braced herself for the attack. What if it's Chad? Oh no. Check out the window first. Oh no. It's Chad. Oh no. Oh! Ariel had her eyes closed as she smashed the vase onto Joseph's head. No. Chad. I heard glass shattering. Oh! What in the world, Ariel? 
That was Joseph, the head of palace security. <gasps> oh my gosh, well at least they got caught. They got caught though, oh my God. I am so sorry, Joseph. I thought you were Hermes. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Um, Joseph, you're still bleeding from your head. Joseph was trained to withstand the highest forms of pain. Well, thank goodness for that. You could stab him and he probably wouldn't even feel it. Whoa, you have nothing to worry about. Thank goodness, grunts. <laughs> I'm so, so, so sorry. You just got hit by a girl, Joseph. First time for everything, eh? <laughs> what? That, that's not funny. <laughs> You're not helping. I'll be taking the culprits into custody with the local police. His Highness has been sent to the nearest hospital to get his injuries treated. I trust I can leave you to wrap things up here, Lord Chad. Yep. All right, then I'll make a move first. Okay, oh, what's happening? What's happening? What is that? Grunts? Okay, that was a little awkward. Oh, I think he was mad at me. <laughs> I can't believe I just smashed a vase on his head. Well, at least it wasn't the ashtray. That would have been disgusting. Relax, he will be fine after a few stitches to his head. Uh, Ariel, I did not appreciate you running off without me back there. Bruh, I don't even know what you are. Why are you like so concerned? It was dangerous. You could have gotten hurt and you wouldn't pick up my calls. I'm sorry, please don't do something like that ever again. You're not my dad. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I don't know what I would do if you'd gotten hurt. Wow, he actually like really cares about me. Oh my goodness. Prince was kidnapped. Oh no, the king. <gasps> and he's admitted to the hospital because he was injured. He's gonna be so mad at us. Lock the culprits up. I'll deal with them personally after visiting my son. Oh my goodness, Valentina! Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so mad. Prince was kidnapped, but she went unconscious. Ariel, we need Dr. Pembroke in here. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my gosh, I think there's one episode left. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do the last episode and just see what happens. This has been crazy so far. Okay, so we are at the hospital. What is happening? Oh my gosh, they're coming over. <gasps> okay, your majesty, Dr. Hale. How is my son, Dr. Hale? His highness suffered from a sprain in his left ankle and a few bruises to his face. <gasps> Not his face. <laughs> Besides the slight dehydration, his highness is doing well. I demand for the best medical attention available in this hospital for my crown prince. <gasps> Money is not an issue. He could be bleeding internally. Oh, my poor baby. You weren't feeling so bad when you made him miserable. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Dr. Hale. We would like to see your son now. Well, at least he's reasonable, unlike this evil, wretched woman. <laughs> what? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Please step aside. Make sure no one else besides us and the medical team enters the prince's room. Wait, but what about me? What about Chad? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's sleeping. My baby. Now you actually care about him? Mom, dad. Oh, he just popped up out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. My heart sank when your father told me you were kidnapped. I thought we lost you. Oh my goodness. I'm all right now. If I find out who's behind this, I would order for an execution for the culprits. Do we still have the power to behead people? <gasps> it seems as if she doesn't know the identity of the kidnapper. She doesn't realize it would be her head rolling. <gasps> it's her fault. <gasps> it's all her fault. That's right. She, she was the one that ordered it. Oh my God. The whole reason Prince is in the hospital is because of her. That is crazy. How dare they lay a hand on the crown prince? I hope they rot. I hope they ring ring. I'm in the middle of something, Ariel. Your majesty, I have something very urgent to report. What is it? Perhaps you should find a quiet corner before I begin. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Your mother has always been a dramatic queen. Yeah, and evil. And yeah, crazy. Remember the time when I fell off a swing when I was eight? She ordered for the entire playground to be demolished. 
Ugh, I'm glad you're well enough to joke, son. <laughs> I may not be as dramatic as your mother, but you had me there too. Oh, man. I'm sorry I made both of you so worried. I've yet to discuss this with Joseph, but how did the kidnapper get a chance to lay his hands on you? The palace guards are supposed to be protecting you 24-7. Chad and I ditched them. Oh, snap, Chad Hayes. I've never quite liked that boy. He was always such a bad influence on you. He got you to ditch classes back in high school, and this isn't the first time he convinced you to abandon your bodyguards. Dad. Dad. Those bodyguards. What is so urgent that you had to call me in the middle of the night and insist I spoke to you? Ma'am. Crazy ma'am. Your Majesty, the man who kidnapped the prince was Hermes, the actor we hired to pretend to be Ariel's boyfriend. <gasps> so it's all your fault. Are you sure? Yes. Oh my goodness. Why would he kidnap the prince? That wasn't part of the plan. Prince Prince found out about his scam. Hermes caught up to him and punched him in defense. Ugh. So Prince was investigating Hermes? Yes, it seems Prince Prince had his suspicions and wanted to clear Ariel's name. Ugh. No one can find out that we're behind this Ariel. Make sure he'll never know we had a hand in this or mention our names to the authorities. I'll make sure of that, Your Majesty. You have nothing to worry about. I better not have anything to worry about, Ariel. You, or you're fired. Oh my goodness. And your whole family shall be beheaded. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> this lady is insane. Um, Your Majesty, I don't think we behead people anymore. Don't tell me what I can't do. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> this lady is crazy. Nobody can find out about this. What if your husband finds out? Ooh, my queen. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so guilty. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? <laughs> I just stepped out of Prince's room. Thank God he didn't catch my conversation with Ariel. Is everything all right? It's nothing. <laughs> she just wanted to remind me of the luncheon with Lady Kelly tomorrow. <laughs> I see. I told Prince to get some rest and that we will return to visit him tomorrow afternoon. It's getting late. We should return to the palace after, after all as well. Yes. What? Oh my goodness. Wow. And here we are undercover at the cabin. Well, everything here is settled. Let's get you back home. Oh man, that was crazy. Oh! What did I fall? On nothing? Ariel! Oh my good. Chad looked down at Ariel's feet and realized her ankle was swollen, not to mention the scraps and bruises are on her knee. <gasps> your ankle! You sprained your ankle back there, didn't you? I fell when I ran off on my own. I didn't think it was that serious. Besides, our priority was to find Prince. So you were running around the jungle with the sprained ankle. It didn't hurt as bad then. Guess now the adrenaline has died down. It's giving way. Oh, what are you doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Chad lifted Ariel off her feet and carried her bridal style. Oh, I'm getting you to the hospital. Oh my goodness. Oh, he seems really mad at me. Maybe I should distract him with something else. So they call you Lord Chad, eh? <laughs> what? My father is a Duke of Genova. He has been serving the royal family for years, after all. Guess that automatically makes me a lord. You seem really close to Prince. My dad used to bring me into the palace whenever the constitution meetings happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's when we became friends. Oh? It's just a minor sprain, Ms. Fawn. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Just make sure you keep well rested for the next two days or so. Thank you. Hey, I recognize you. You're the Ariel Fawn. The girl betrothed to the prince. All three of you dressed as Bond wannabes and two of you are injured. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even want to know what you guys were doing. Have you seen Prince Prince? How are his injuries? Is he all right? I'm afraid that's classified information. You know, we got those HIPAA laws. Can I see him? Unless you have permission from the king or queen, that's impossible. His room is heavily guarded by security at the moment. Oh, 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 what the heck? I'm such a big fan of you two. Is she breaking the law? I'm sure Prince Prince would want you by his side. You are, I can sneak you past the guards if you like. 
we can't. You know what? We don't we don't want to break the law. So we don't want to get her in trouble. We don't want her to lose her job. Prince needs his rest and I'd like to go home to have mine. Very well then. Oh my gosh, she was willing to like lose her job over that. I wonder if Prince has fallen asleep. I should give him a call. Ariel, are you alright? Ooh, are we FaceTiming? Ooh, <laughs> better than you. <laughs> I was just calling to check in on you. Are you feeling better? I'm doing fine, but I wish I could have seen you in person. Thank you for saving me back there. I'm really sorry, Ariel, for not believing in you. Aww, you should rest early. <laughs> Good night. Good night, my warrior princess. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, so, to be continued. Oh, he never got married. The title is called I Married a Prince. And we never got married. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's going to take a couple weeks to get more. So this is an ongoing story. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Okay, so we never actually got married to the prince, but we almost died. <laughs> he almost died. And a lot of craziness has been happening. I don't know if my suspicions about Chad were correct and that he wanted to take over the royal family or if he's just an actual real friend that doesn't want to use the prince. I'm not too sure about that because it does seem suspicious that he wanted to like flirt with me knowing that I'm supposed to be marrying the prince and like what's up with that. But I've been really enjoying this game so far and I hope that you guys have been too. If you would like to see more, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you have been enjoying this series, definitely leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.